What's going on YouTube? Come back at you with another video. So I caught this little post from Funkmaster Flex and he's doing what he does best, which is stirring the pot. And he gave his opinion basically on 6 9 and Cardi B, you know, being potentially the king and queen of New York. And he shared his thoughts. I'm going I'm to read it to you real quick. He says, ha 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 a below average rapper that doesn't write could never be king or queen in new york just my opinion biggie jay-z nas built the requirements for that title and then he said just for the record six nine and cardi are not kings in new york they are making good music and doing great things there's a standard in ny so he clearly doesn't feel like regardless of the fact that six nine and cardi b are at the top of the game that um they meet the requirements set forth to be king or queen in new york and i'm just curious like nowadays does it even matter anymore do those requirements even exist anymore in the music i already know the answer but i'm just curious from people out there like do you think that at this point where the rap game is and hip-hop is that the requirements that were set forth back in the 80s and 90s or um, whenever, do they still matter? Like, is lyricism even important to people anymore in this day and age? That's basically the question that I have is, because attention-wise, popularity-wise, media headlines-wise, and everything else, 6 9 and Cardi B are at the top. So... Does does the lyricism aspect matter anymore? I definitely want to get your opinions out there. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and do so. I definitely appreciate you watching though. But yeah, give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Peace.